Hello. We have the frame completely sandblasted. And um, I think in my last video, I told you that I was uh, using the sand from the Mississippi and that was working out great. It did at first, but then um, I started having problems with some of the, some of the pails of it that I picked up uh, where they were more moist. And, um, and then I started having clogging problems with the sandblasting unit. So um, I stopped doing that and uh, went back to buying the coal slag and that seemed to be a lot more consistent from a moisture standpoint and worked uh, seamlessly with the sandblaster. So anyways, um, we're finished. And then what I did is I prepped the metal with this stuff from Eastwood after blast so you just spray it on liberally and um, you give it like five minutes and you wipe it off and it does a light etching and cleaning and leaves a zinc phosphate uh, I believe on the surface so it uh, so the surface is more ready to accept primer and paint um, which is actually going to be a rust encapsulation uh, formula that I'm going to spray on first and, and then the chassis paint. For right now, I'm going to paint the inside of the tubes and I'm using this stuff. Um, you dispense it with a hose and you pull the hose through the tubes and um, coat them so that uh, it uh, encapsulates the rust and stops rust from happening from the inside out. So I'll try to uh, include a little shot of of how that works. Before we spray the coating inside the tubes, I'm, I'm plugging all the holes except for the ones that I intend to access the tube through, uh, just with a little bit of masking tape, just so I don't have the stuff blowing all over the place. So I've got all of the little holes uh, block that I don't intend to uh, feed the tube through for doing the inside of coating the frame and I'm about to start that process and this is the hose they give you that's all curled up and attaches to the rattle can um, so all I've done is taken a piece of uh, electrical wire and tape the hose to that to hold it straight so the intention is that we're gonna go in it's got this funny little nozzle on the end. We're going to go into certain points that I haven't taped off and then we'll blast it and while we're doing that we'll pull this out kind of rotate it a little bit and coat the inside of the frame. I'm going to give, you, give that a shot and uh, share that with you. All right this seems to be working pretty well. So I'm uh, going in these access holes with my wire in the tube and just kind of slowly pulling it back out while spraying and rotating it so that the nozzles uh, point in different directions, hopefully covering all the surfaces on the inside. Oops. If we take a look, you can kind of see on the tape that it got really black where the holes are. Sometimes bled over even a little bit. And I think that's a good indication that we're getting nice coverage all the way around. Uh, I've also looked in the holes as best I can with my flashlight and uh, all I can see is black all the way around. So I, I think the nozzle works really well. I'll try to get a shot with the camera. In this hole as best we can with the flashlight. And you can see, it really did a nice job of coating. You can also kind of tell from what drips out uh, through some of the seams uh, where the welds didn't completely cover. All right, today we are putting on the rust encapsulator onto the frame. Uh, yesterday I, I uh, sprayed the inside of the frame rails with Eastwood's um, what do they call it? Um, 
internal frame coating, I believe. And this is what I'm using as the primer on the outside. And I've got part of it done. And I'm putting it on with a brush. Um, that's enabling me to get into a lot of little nooks and crannies like that. And uh, it's drying nicely on some parts of it already. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to finish and I'll take some more shots then. Hello, we're back. So uh, after uh, brushing on the rust encapsulator and waiting a couple of days, um, I went ahead and uh, sprayed on the uh, chassis coat. So we're going to use chassis black. This is the gloss and it is really glossy. Um, maybe a little too so. I, I may have gone with a semi-gloss or a more of a satin, but I'm happy. It's shiny. <laughs> and uh, so I just sprayed that on with the rattle cans. And it's turned out really nice. So now it's time to start putting things back onto it. Uh, keep watching. Thanks.